Hello geeks and welcome back to another City Skylines video. I am Stamatis and you are in Everyday Normal Greek and we're just joining back in Lakewood Adventures, my Lakewood Adventures in this wonderful like uh, little uh, city that we're building over here and oh by the way an airplane let's take a look at it. Never seen an airplane in City Skylines actually. Come on. Come on. Wow, it's so hard to catch it. A hey, little plane. There it is. Little beautiful plane. I wonder where is it going to land. Definitely not in our city. Because uh, we still uh, don't have any airports. But uh, hopefully we will do so. Uh, since last time I made a few minor changes. And one of them is I changed this intersection. I just realized that... Um, Having this centipede roundabout, that's how I like to call it. It was not really worth it in that area here because it seemed that people were not using the underground intersection and they were just using the side roads to mainly move. I don't know why they didn't like the underground intersection and also the roundabout was not very used. So I just made this intersection. Technically, it has some like bad, uh, uh, bad stuff, let's say bad characteristics for example the double purpose like uh, connection lanes because now that the cars can like you know take a turn like to the left or go to the other side uh, but since the the traffic is not that high this intersection works pretty well for me just with the simple bridge it has a bit smaller footprint than this huge roundabout that i was trying to build and uh, i think it goes well so I, last time and for a few episodes i've promised you better like buses i guess and i think this is the time to do it and uh, i still believe that the best option for a uh, like bus terminal would be okay sorry i'm just losing focus just wanted to see how my industrials are going on and i think the whole zone here is full of industries and there is some demand for industries and for residentials again so we might it might be sensible to expand our residentials but which residentials that would be a good question should we expand this area here let's check the value of this map first of all i want to have a clear picture of the value and i see that hemlock park has a lot of value and the areas around here this area has a lot of value this area seems to be getting some value this area here because it has services i guess it's because of the yeah it's because of the like commercial area here um yeah and also seems that some areas here by the sea uh they're quite valuable i mean hmm and also this area here which is close to this new like uh like uh, district i'm trying to build so it might be a good idea that we should expand these roads here in a way like um hmm. we would want the road to kind of hug uh, let's say the coastline right so to start from here go like here and let's say come to here i mean it will be built with houses but might be sensible to build some um, parks here as well. Okay, let's do something simpler for now. Let's just expand this a further bit to the right as we see it. Just add a few more residentials here. And definitely we will need to add some education. Uh, services here and some extra services in general to them. We're just making a lot of money right now plus seven thousand plus five thousand uh, So it's every week so it's good. This is good Let's just put some like low density residentials here to invite some more people in and um, That will drop a bit the demand for residentials and probably we need some more industry I see that we have a lot of farms already around here. So let's just expand our like uh, little farm area here. So let's just expand towards this side. Towards the left side. 
with more squares. And now we're just going to the really fertile, fertile land here in the middle. So we have to take advantage of everything here. Like here. Do they actually... The farming industry is it actually expanding more than uh, 4 by 4 tile? This is something that we have to see. Okay, let me zone everything here and here and here. So all this area here should be zoned. I wonder if we create like bigger farms. This is fields, fields. Companies and fields is so nice. I really like that it has this like, uh, you know, like uh, this like uh, dirt roads. It really gives a feeling of being like a... Uh, like an area that it's like, uh, you know, like farming area. Might be that we don't want such dense like configuration in the roads. Uh, but this is something aesthetic. I think that that's something might be for like uh, as we progress, you know, and we expand the city. That's something that we'll have to think about. So let's just cover these guys with water here. Okay. Um... This is some more water coverage is demanded. Like here. No? Okay, this has gone away. So, yeah, so let's just plop down finally the bus depot. And, no, we have the bus depot. I'm really sorry about it. Uh, let's just plop down the bus station. So, give me the bus station, man. So, this will act as a central waypoint. And I, okay, let's let's think a bit about it because it's a lot of money to do, to invest. So, it's also good because, like, let's say if we want at some point buses to go, let's say, towards that direction. A bit outside of this, like, uh, island here. Because this is technically, if you check, this is an island, okay? So, we're just building everything in this island right now. So, if we want, let's say, buses to go outside of this island, like here, towards that direction. They can take either this road or like uh, this road, which is technically are built to be like highways. And um, and uh, th that will help the buses just flow nicely of the traffic. So, might be good. Anyway, so let's just plop down the bus station and let's start putting out some nice bus line. So, let's put it from that side, I guess, somewhere here in the middle. Boom. Just invented so much money to it. Yeah, looks impressive. Huge. And a huge upkeep as well. It will eat a lot of money from us. Uh, but what can we do? Oh, it needs water. Okay, bus station, strange. Okay, let's just follow the road here. And just try to cover this area with water like uh, this. And some electricity because it's just out here all alone. Let's just put some electricity like this. And uh, what about these electric lines that we're saying electricity? Okay, we don't need those lines anymore. The grid is now connected. So, let's just have everything like that. And... Uh, okay, these lines we're just letting them. And here we need also the grid. Okay, makes sense. Bus station is connected. These two don't need. These two are just taking from here. They have their own grid, technically. They're in their own electricity grid. It's not connected to the main grid with my like electric factories. Here is fine. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out now here. 
we could technically just do like something to reduce our like electric cables like this and then we could just delete these cables here and everything is good and uh, we could also delete no we could just delete this and that's it right uh right and everything has electricity okay so let's focus back back on our bus stations now so now that we have this then what we want to do is to create bus lines that technically this would not be like school bus lines okay so now we really want to reduce uh car rides and by the way how are bus lines going like uh, oh my god they have exploded okay wait a sec guys these bus lines have exploded so let's just open the bus line one let's rename it to the uh school bus okay let's find uh this is chestnut square dale square and sunset heights ah it's a huge bus line actually we might want to rethink this bus line here ah no sorry this is two separate bus lines one is this one okay so technically this is the bus line uh, two probably and this is the bus line one so yes this is uh, here this is the bus line one which is technically sunset heights to chestnut square so this is uh, school bus uh, sunset sunset heights chestnut chest oh okay let's put it like uh, s c h l let's make it like that s c h l or just school Sunset Heights Sunset Oh come on What is happening really? Sunset Heights to Che Chestnut SQR SQ, okay. Chestnut SQ to Sunset Ha It's let's like this. And that would be our first one. And I see that we are taking a lot of children, teens young adults and we save 37 percent of car trips and i see that there are not a lot of people waiting in the stops so that's a good sign so five vehicles i guess it's enough for this stop yet and let's go oh i just renamed it right okay let's press under now probably it was saved yep so Sunset Heights, Chestnut Square, and the bus line number two is technically, let's bring it here, uh, it's Sunset Heights, uh, Dale Square. Okay, and this has 56 passengers, let's see how many are waiting, not many, so I guess four buses for now are good and it seems that we don't save car trips in this one it says zero percent i don't know if this is actually true or not or it's just some bug in the game but nevertheless we just transfer 134 passengers per week just with this simple school buses so let's just go ahead and plop down now uh some like actual uh, like um commuter lines Okay, so what we want to focus is that we have these like areas here. So we have the Sunset Heights, the Garnet Heights, the Chestnut Square, the Dale Square, 
and this little area here which is not a district yet but it will become right now the broad park hmm, nice name the broad park and we have the Fervue Square and Evergreen Hills that they mainly need like um, like workers okay so what we need to do is we need buses that will gather the people in this central station and then other buses that will take the people from this central station and just deliver them like commute them all the way here might be a viable idea that we would do this with metro but since my city doesn't have a lot of traffic issues right now and it's not really big i mean this distance i guess it's not really big and traffic is at 93 percent some problems already i see as i expected in this area here but i guess it's just a lot of people using this line right now but other than that everything seems cool okay seems a lot of people try to enter this area here as well but that's also normal so what we want to do first of all okay let's start with uh, the garnet heights it's the one that doesn't have any or maybe not let's start okay let's start with something closer to this bus station so this would be the chestnut square okay i see two fires three fires in this neighborhood I hope that some like firefighters are responding. Where is the closest fire department? I see three fire engines in use. Let's just check where are the firefighters right now. In general, I feel that the game has a bit of trouble dealing with fires. I don't know if it's something that it's bad with my placement, let's say, of fire stations or it's just a game itself that has trouble like dealing with fires okay we see this fire truck now down here it's just going somewhere else or no oh no it's just how my streets are laid down okay there is another one just came here so we need technically three fire trucks one for its house faster 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 this is a beautiful area actually here and this is a big building that's being burned down Okay, I guess we are on time. People are a bit angry. But this building was burned down almost everything. At least we saved the two other buildings. A bit. Oh my god, we see the blackness and the smoke here. Jesus. Anyway, okay, so let's just focus back. So let's just start building our first bus line. And I would think that the first bus line would be something that would start from the station. Okay, so let's just pick the first platform of the station here. Then it would go all the way to Dale Square here. And it would just make uh, something like... Um, would go around Dale Square. So it would follow the perimeter of it. So like the first stop here. Maybe second stop here then a third stop here and then another stop maybe here on top then another stop maybe here and then here then a final stop like here and then it would just go simply back to the station boom and we just have completed the line let's pause because the game will start spawning buses like crazy right now because the line is complete so technically just the buses are coming in they go turn left they just go through all the like perimeter of dale square with just several stops let's use in the overview it just has six stops as well oh uh, no sorry eight stops okay so not so many i guess so let's just pick up a color, let's turn it like something like almost purple, very dark blue purple. We will use of course the buses and this would be like, uh, let's name it 01 and it would be uh, Dale SQ to Central Station.
And actually I'm thinking now that in the future might be that we have more central stations. So it makes sense that we're just going here and we rename this bus station. Um, hmm. Let's name it by this one. Or let's say it like that. I like the name Hemlock Park. But it might be that we will delete this in the future, so... Let's name it Chestnut... SQ Central. Chestnut SQ Central. Central bus station? No. Central, just like that. And uh, let's go to our bus lines again. To the buses over here. here. And this would be again, uh, sorry, not this one. Uh, oops, this one. It would be the zero one, the Dale Square to the. Uh, to the chestnut. Oops, chestnut, chestnut, <laughs> SQ, yeah, we will have to save some spaces, I guess. Chestnut, SQ, central. Delete the dots like this. Okay, so this is the, our first, very first commuter bus lane. So, Dale Square to Chestnut Square Central Station. And it will be like day night time. Anyway, we don't. I close the day night simulation for now at least because it confuses me still a bit. I don't know how exactly it works. It says seven buses right now. Let's start off with five again. Just keep it low, keep it low, let's start and see how it will go and decide after we have to add buses, you know, or remove buses and etc. So we would need um, another one to be... Oh, what happens with electricity? We're struggling with electricity. Can we just increase our budget for now? Yes, we can just go 100%. Let's just go 100%. And what about our water? Our water is fine yet. So let's go ahead because this is not a very covered area. So let's go ahead and create another bus line that would be starting again from the bus station. I need a bus line and not a station. Also, I've noticed that uh, the buses like to stack up in the station. I mean, technically this station is a single lane going back and forth, so buses are stacking up. So, might be a good idea to space a bit uh, like platforms. Huh. Yeah, okay, let's just create our new line here. Let's just put a space now. I don't know if it will work out or not, but that's a limitation of the default bus station. Might be that I would like to see some modded bus station with more lanes inside for movement for the buses. So this station would be going directly here. Since it passes through Hemlock Park. Okay, so we want to pass through Hemlock Park, but not as a first stop, okay? We would ideally we would like to pass through Hemlock Park on the way out. So let's go like here. One bus station here. One bus station there. Another bus station bus stop here. Oh, oh no, I just blew off the line. Sorry, but I wanted to see here we have a clinic. Where is our education in this part? <laughs> uh, oh, that's the pollution. <laughs> now where is our education? 
Ah, it's over here. Okay. Uh huh. So let's go again. Sorry, guys, for that, but we have to start again. Ah, no, it saved this line. Okay, till oh, great. Thank you, City Skylines. Okay, so let's we have like some stops. Let's check the stops. There is one stop here, one, two. We can add stops in the present line if we need in the future. Three here, and let's just add another one here, right in the middle of Hemlock Park. No, I don't want to create a new line. I just want to drag a line uh, here. Oh my, I cannot. Just drag the line here. Perfetto. <laughs> Sorry for the ugly Italian. Okay, now it's working. So we have the stop here. We have the stop here. And now we're just going to say, okay, now go we'll just go all the way back to the station. And we're just going to also assign, um, this can be light blue actually, and we can assign like 12, no, just five passes to it. And um, we're just going to remain in, to, re to name it, not rename it. So zero two, and this would be uh, Sunset Heights. Two. Chestnut SQ Central. So number two line, Garnet Heights to Chestnut SQ Central station kind of pointless right now but it will make uh, it will make sense once we start putting in actually let's start putting down our like um, oh I see some like abundant industry here well it will make space for new people oh my god and we need even more residential okay let's just plop down some residential Let's just expand this broad park area here. Maybe finally it's time to pause the game and make this nice uh, coastal road here. I really don't know how to make good coastal roads, guys. If you have any solutions, ideas about it, you could let me know. And let's just try to fill in the gap like this, maybe. Something like that. Looks ugly. It will do. And uh, maybe it doesn't look so ugly actually once the houses are here. So let's just start plopping down some residential here. This land has also a quite bigish value right now. Maybe I'm just zoning too much right now. Let's just stop here. I guess this will decrease a bit the demand for residential right now. And um, some people in uh, Chirper they just like uh, they just like that I build like uh, farms. Some people hate it. It's 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 quite controversial decision for my people. <laughs> it's interesting. So let's just go ahead and build the connection now to the actual commuter, like uh, uh, like uh, the whole commuter journey for my people. So from uh, the bus station, I need another line. Let's say here. That would be going all the way to the industrial areas here. And actually. Mm, let me pause a bit because you know what this area here doesn't have like uh... Do they get it? Yep Let's see the little houses that they're building here. Wow, that's beautiful mm, These houses are beautiful And why not? Maybe it's awfully close to the water but I'm learning as I go, guys. I'm not a city planner yet. That's an ugly house. That's an ugly house. But nevertheless, let, let them build and let them develop. So, might be that we want this bus line, finally. To be starting from... Yeah, this here. And then just going all the way to... Uh... 
Let's say that we'll make two stops here. But this is a central road. I really don't want my buses to be stopping here. They will cause chaos. So it might be that we want them to stop to get them inside this area. And one will be stopping, let's say, to make this like go around. So one here and one here and then one here. So like these bus stops. Maybe a final one down down here in that road and then just go back to the station so that would be another line and that would be line number let's just turn this a bit greener since this goes to our farms or let's say uh, it's commuting so it's like going towards the like maybe we should color code based on where they're what kind of destination they have the blue ones have like let's say residential the green ones have kind of like um, industrial destinations nevertheless so this is number three and this would be going from chestnut sq center okay to evergreen hills cool looks good not 10 vehicles of course let's just again just put five i don't want to just pump out so much buses because you see they just stuck up here for no absolute reason for absolutely no reason i said this oh my god and i already see a very popular bus station here so i guess this line uh this is the uh, like number two garnet Heights chestnut square this is a pretty popular bus station and I see people walking down to the bus station all the way from here. Oh my. Okay, so let's overview again a bit our like uh, bus lines. Uh, and here we see already it carries 17 passengers, but the, right now the stops are pretty empty. I would really love that when I'm going to the bus uh, to the line specific tab and go back to the overview i would like the specific tab to close but anyway so the number two line which is from garnet heights is chestnut square garnet heights is our first very first district has a lot of people waiting in the stops this stop is Oh, it's on this in the central station. I see a lot of people waiting and this stop a lot of people waiting This stop a lot of people waiting. So I guess here we should pump up a few more buses Ah, but we should do it from here So let's just Double the buses right now because I see that most of them are full. So let's just add 10 buses here because this is a popular line and let's see how it rolls and the uh, Chester Square Central to Evergreen Hills which is uh, the first connection to an industrial area oh my has 77 people waiting for and where are the buses do we see any green buses well it's green buses going to Evergreen L looks appropriate to me I see one green bus here where are the others? I would love to be able to locate buses easily. Ah, I can just check here. So they're all past the central station. Yeah, I can locate buses easily, but I don't know how to use the UI yet. <laughs> Very well. Okay, so everybody, everything started empty. Wow, that was bad start, but I guess one is coming now back to the central station and I guess uh, slowly these people are going to go to where they need to go and as a final thing to close this episode we'll just put another line like so we'll just put out another line in this end right now from here and this time this line is going to go all the way to this industrial area so it is going to go like like this let's Turn this also a bit greenish, let's say maybe a bit darker greenish. And let's name it four. And this is uh, 
Chestnut SQ Center Central to I don't know where Fairview SQ Oh, that was in very easily. So number four, 13 vehicles. It seems that the game is just pumping out vehicles randomly or something. I don't know. Let's just start with five again and see how it goes. And I already see one issue with my bus station. I see a lot of buses. Wow, going all the way to here to turn around. No, they just circle. Oh my. Hmm, that's a big circle for my buses. Did I miss this in the lines overview somehow? Yep. And where do they circle from? Oh, they just go all the way to here to circle. Oh my. Huh, how can I improve this? And why they cannot circle here? That's a good question also. That's actually... something for the next episode, guys how to make this bus station work a bit better might be that we need to make a like a road around it here like here but then it would create some roads too close to these connections and i really want to avoid this hmm but it will give the chance to my buses to circle better you know what let's just do this as the last thing in this episode let's just go like here and A bit more like here and then here and then from here here and let's just reconnect down the this one let's check now the lines overview um, okay I already see that some lines are using it but they also see that s there is a line that refuses to use it, that's this one. Oh. Oh, okay, it changed also automatically. Okay. Okay, so we'll make this recircling and let's make this one way. Might be that it will work. Just be one way, like this. Like uh, here, here, here and here. Let's see now how my lines are going. Yep, everything is using it. So that's good. That's good. Where is this line going? Okay, it follows a strange path. I guess we want this line to stop using this path, maybe. But how? Let's check it again. It's uh, this line over here. How I would be able to drag this down? Yeah, but I don't want to make a stop like this. Okay, so I had to force it with the stop and then remove it. It's a pretty unconventional way. Seems pretty buggy to me. It should have changed automatically nevertheless, but... Anyway, it changed now found a way so guys uh, I guess that's it so we have a working bus network in our little beautiful town let me remove as a final thing the traffic light here let's just add a stop here and that's it and let's remove this traffic light here and just add a stop here and that's it 
And uh, yes, so that's it that we just concluded our this episode. We're just concluding this episode with this beautiful and now super busy. Probably we'll have to pump up more buses eventually. Bus stop, bus station, central bus station. And uh, thank you for being here with me in another episode of City Skylines. And uh, hit the smash the like button if you like and enjoyed this video. Leave me all your comments down below. I would love to hear and read and answer and love all your comments and subscribe to my channel to get all the latest notifications about my youtube activity on your home page i was tomatis you were in everyday normal greek stay tuned for more episodes of city skylines and i will see you next time bye